Hey, you troglodytes. Yeah, have you ever played a mobile game? You know that they freaking suck. They're stinky. They're poopy. They're boring. They require you to spend ungodly amounts of money to actually do anything. Well, the ads would have you believe otherwise. They'd have you believe that these games are fantastic. They're so much fun. They're amazing. They're they're great. Whoop de doo. Well, look at how fun this is. Look at how easy this is. Or I'm trying to make it like, oh, you're smart. You could you could do this. You could beat them. You could you can beat the puzzle. Look at how dumb this idiot in the advertisement is. You're you're better than that guy. Maybe you are. I don't know. Maybe your your wallet's friggin' like you know. Maybe your your wallet. You have all this money. You know. What do you do? Well, getting kind of rich. I'm gonna spend all of this money on a mobile game. Like, why? You're an idiot. Don't 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 do that. We're we're just gonna look at some ads, and we're gonna we're gonna see how freaking dumb they are. Okay. And then we're gonna look at a game that's kind of okay actually. And we're gonna look kind of deeper into some of these some of these tactics, some of these tricks. Editing drug here. I just wanted to pop in and say it may sound like I'm being really, really negative. Right? Like all these mobile games suck, they're all bad. And that's kind of true. Like all like the really, really popular ones that are full of, you know, microtransactions or whatnot, like I'm gonna talk about. Like all the ones that are constantly pushed to the top of the charts, that are always shoved to you or recommended to you, right? Those ones are probably not so great. But there are plenty of great games, like, you know, I'll put some screenshots here next to me. Like, you know, there's the, the Rush Rally series, there's, you know, the whole Lego Star Wars games, those are on mobile. <laughs> like, you know, you can play the complete saga right on your phone. Right, for, you know, only six dollars, that's pretty good. There's Republic, that was a fun one. Townscaper, you know, Smash Hit, there's Minecraft. Um, you know, there's the, there's the Stick Ranger games, there's, you know, there's so many games. There's the Monument Valley, there's Grand Mountain Adventure, there's, you know, there's, a uh, you know, Boost 2. There's so many, like, fantastic games for mobile. If you really dig deep, there's, like, so many more. You know, there's the whole, you know, Knights of the Old Republic, those are on, you know, Alien Isolation is now on iOS. Like, there's so many fantastic games that are on mobile, you just have to dig real, real deep for them. Like, there's Dead Cells, there's FTL, there's probably a lot more. You know, there's a brother, Tale of Two Sons, that's a fantastic little game. So there are loads of great games on mobile. You just have to really dig deep under the crap. Okay, so yeah, back to the video. Alrighty then. So I guess let's just jump into it, shall we? the hell? Okay. I mean, these are just so stupid, right? Because they're like, oh no, you've obviously made the wrong choice. Oh well, look at me. Look at how much of a fucking idiot I am. It's just obviously, they don't want you to, like, be able to succeed or anything. No, oh, again, again, it's like, oh no. I'm a friggin' dumbass, right? It's like, yeah, like, you're an idiot. Like, what do you expect is gonna happen? Again, it's just so boring. And it's just not interesting. You know? You know why? You're just popping bubbles, a simple little fun puzzle game. But then we scroll down, and we're like, okay, so it's gonna steal all your data, obviously. It's like, oh wow, you have to buy all the coins, like always, all of these stupid games, they want you to buy the coins, buy the coins, buy the currency, buy the stuff. You know, too many ads, too many ads, it's common, you have to, you know, get all this crap, and this is how you're gonna play the game. They've loved it, they had a great time. Wow, whoop de doo Bubble pop reading. This game with the worst bubble pop. Bubble blah, feeling great, and suddenly they finished the game, spending a lot of money, wow. Who would've been thought? It's a waste of your time, it's a waste of your time, it's a waste of time rip off, you know. Yeah, like, just get wrecked, right? Look again, it's like, wow, this is so boring looking. Like, the point of these ads is to make the game look fun. Like, it's something you actually want to play. I do not want to play this. This looks so boring. Oh my god. Fiendish affirmation. <laughs> this is a funny one. Hey, bam. Your kids say you don't understand technology, but you're okay. level 1,279, best fiends, and they can't even yeah. eat dinner on their own. Well, clearly, I'm so much better than them, right? I'm so, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. I play this game. I'm, I've gotten so far. Okay, okay. Oh, life skills. <laughs> yeah, they don't have any life skills. They can't even cook food. 
Look at me, I can match the the, the shapes. How oh, I know my colors, you know what green is, you know what leaves are. Oh wow, oh I know what red is too. I'm so smart, look at me. Wow, look at how smart I am. What do you do? Decent game of dirty tactics. Like you know they've enjoyed the game. Oh, which one are I gonna look at? Yeah, it's just, they just they just scam you, right? This is like, well, look at you, you're doing so well. Oh, nope, never mind. Get friggin' shrekt. Scroll down here, look at all the data. They're stealing all your data, guys. Whoop de doo. And then you make you, again, look, you have to buy all the coins in order to actually proceed. It's like, who cares? This is so boring. Oh my god, I don't care. Just get me out of here. Oh, here we go. Okay, hey, these are the good so ones. Right now. Babe, because my money gets here today. It gets here in the mail today. Oh my I god, know. where did you get all this money from? Oh my god. Where did you where get it, it from? Where did you get it? Oh, I just got the notification. Oh my god, oh my god. Really? Oh my god, I just have to play the game? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't work that way. It's... It's not safe. The scam. It's a scam. No, you're not gonna make money. It doesn't work that way. These games, they don't work. If they kept giving out money to every friggin' bozo who just waltzed on through, they'd be broke. They'd be bankrupt. It doesn't work that way. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam. Here we go. We're gonna go to the crap store. Like, oh no, you're gonna make all this money. No, you're not. It's a scam. Update. It's not about being <laughs> able to win. Like you, I consistently rank at the top of the folks I match against, but after a game is finished, from real final two opponents. Yeah, it's just, it's a scam. Like, you're not going to win. They're, you're not going to pay out either. Yeah, so they, it's like a casino, right? You know, you, you keep shoving money in, you shoving money in, shoving money, and then you don't get anything back out again. So what are you, what are you expecting? Okay. So this is one of those ads that's just like... It's just a playable demo. It's so boring. Oh my god. It's in the post they make it so easy. It's like Oh wow, look, you're just gonna destroy them. Look, they don't even fight back. They don't even move. They don't do anything. Whoop de doo, you're a winner! Yeah. Woohoo! Baby! Oh my god, a monthly subscription too. Like what? I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> What a scam. Oh it's not working, oh no. And they're yeah, like they don't care. Like, they're not going to give you anything, bro. It's a scam. They want your money. <laughs> the balls to make it a subscription. I mean, it's only three bucks a month, but still, you're, you're going to forget about it. And you're going to keep paying that ad infinitum. Like, no this is what I was talking about There's before. No real puzzle game in this world. Oh, no. This is the real one, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Except it's like all the other games that are exactly the same thing. But whatever. It's like sure, I guess I guess this might actually be like something from the from the game. But from what I can tell, this is only a very small portion of the game and the rest of it's just the same old like I don't know, scam where you have to build your base and you get the resources and you spend the coins and I don't know. Well, I can't do it anymore, guys. How did I do it before? I don't know. I'm too stupid to figure this. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Here we go. Need more money? Just play our game and look at all this money. You're not gonna win. It's so easy. Like, you just play solitaire. No, you didn't. You're not gonna receive any of that. This is a scam. Like, here's this. Like, here's another one of those playable demo games. It's not gonna look like this when you play it. I can guarantee you that. And then they take you to the playable part. So you've watched that part. Now you have to sit through this. Here we go. Okay. This is probably closer to what the game would actually look like. Look, he's lined up perfectly. A dead on headshot. Okay. And then it's a complete miss. Like some of these ads make the game look like it's the easiest thing in the world. And then some of them are like, this, like oh no, you failed. You're dumb. I guess you have to play the game to try again. And then it's a scam. Probably. Like, this is a different ad, but look, it's dead on. It was dead on. Dead on. Now it's a completely missed. It's like, just completely out of left field. Here's another one of my favorites. It's like, oh wow, look, you're gonna make all this money. Went up to $83 per game. And it's only four minutes to go in 80... No. No. That's, that's a lie. That's false advertising. You're not, you're not gonna win anything. You're lying. But look, you've received all these payouts. It doesn't work that way. You're not going to get a payout. Look, it's going to steal all your data. 
clearly. Like, they want all your data. Uh, and the other thing is, these apps, they don't list any in-app purchases. So, you're like, you're some kid, right? You're going, it's like, wow, really? I can win all this money. And then you get into the app. It's like, well, there's no purchases. I mean, I don't know if kids actually pay attention to that. They're fucking, like, idiots on TikTok. They're going to believe anything. But then, it's... Then they get scammed for like a million or thousands of dollars, probably. And they don't win anything. Oh no, you failed. Oh no, you stinky. It's the weird one, right? Oh, I'll scrap the sword. That's gonna make me even higher level. Now I'm even higher level. Oh my god, I literally just tap on them. Oh, I've defeated him. This looks so boring. Oh my god, I don't want to play this. Here we go. This is a good one. I used to play these games. Oh my god, but I got nothing. Oh no. Cash games. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. Let's call out the rest of them for being fake, why don't we? Yeah, that's gonna go over well. Okay. Just try Blitz win cash on the app store. Ah oh, yes. Blitz has not limit to withdraw. Oh not you limit, huh? We will directly pay to your cash app. You the will? Transaction is within one minute. From what? This video now. You will I don't direct... want download to this video. <laughs> it's like how, how much more blatant do you need to be? Bruh, like how, how much more obvious of a scam can this possibly be? <laughs> it, just, it doesn't work this way. I'm sorry. What? Okay, this is different. <laughs> but still, it's like, wow, look at how easy this is to win all this money that you're not gonna win. What they're not telling you is how much money you probably have to pay in order to get this payout. Or all the ads you're gonna have to sit through. Or all the data they're gonna mine on you. Well, you're not gonna receive jack shit. You're not, you're not gonna get paid from this. Why are these allowed on the app store? Like, here's another thing that these games do, is, like, they show this whole, like, pre-rendered cinematic. The game is not gonna look this way. This is, like, maybe, like, a high-end PC game. Baby, look at me, I'm sniping all the zombies, they're so sl And this is, like, the actual gameplay may look like this, a little bit. Or probably even still, probably still won't even be like this. Now we've seen the ads, I also look at a game. This game isn't actually featured in any of the ads you we've, we've, we've just looked at. But it has a lot of these same kind of, you know, scummy techniques. You have to pay gold, you have to wait for all this stuff to complete. You know, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's kind of a fun game. You know, Dead Trigger 2. It's kind of, it's okay. It's alright. I'll take a look at it, right? Remember, you gotta, this one, you gotta defuse the bombs. Um, there are other operation missions you gotta set up like water canisters or drain the canisters. They're all basically the same thing. You just gotta stand in the stand in the area where the thing happens. This is a um an ass uh, assault mission where you gotta shoot a set number of zombies. It's basically pretty basic. You you just shoot the zombies. Nothing nothing too crazy here. Nothing too crazy here. I am recording this time. This is good. This is good. This is a, a defense mission of sorts where you gotta you gotta defend. And you gotta shoot the thing. I forget what it's actually called, but Sentinel mission, a sniper mission, doesn't matter. This one, you have a turret, the other time you have a you have a turret, this is a sniper, the other time you have a turret. This is a escort mission where you you're escorting the, the guys around. It's the special escort mission because you're on a truck with the with the gun on it. Um, normally you're just, you know, on foot doing objectives. They're actually kind of the most fun mission. Normally escort missions suck. These are actually pretty fun. This is a, a, a defense mission where you got to defend yourself from the zombies. Then you have a set amount of time. It's basically the same as the assault mission, except instead of a set number of zombies, you have to shoot. This one, you you just gotta survive for a certain amount of time. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Pretty clean. Moving on to the seek and destroy mission, where you gotta shoot the loudspeakers. Um, there are some missions that you didn't cover, such as the supply run mission, where instead of you gotta find the supply runs, and there's also the power run mission, so you gotta find the generator, power for the generator. This is the daily job. This one you get, you get multiple more monies from it. You get double the money, sometimes triple the monies. Uh, this one you gotta shoot bunnies, other ones you gotta shoot uh, balloons from the zombies, other ones you get special weapons. It's here, try out the weapons, you know, it's just a regular old mission, but you can try out the weapons. And the end of this, here's the super bunny, look at that, here's the super bunny, isn't that such a cool bunny? Where is it? Where is it? You gotta find it, there it is! Oh, we're done, okay. And then this is the game over, this is the mission over screen. When the mission is over, this is the screen you get. Those are all, like, kind of the side missions so you have like the main story missions which are basically those but like with story beats to them that you have to like wait 
20 minutes between each mission. It's really everything. Everything is a timer in this game. Everything is on a timer and it's ridiculous. I said before this game, you have to buy everything. You have to buy all these, you know, these currencies here. You have to buy all the monies, just like the regular dollars. And here the like the premium currency you use to buy, like speed things up and to buy boosters and stuff. But it doesn't actually talk about like what you're buying. It's like, here's this gun, here's the sentry chicken, here's the price, you know, here's what you save, here's all this gold you also get. But like, you don't know what you're buying. At least with like this, I guess you kind of know. And the sentry chicken, if you've already unlocked that, you kind of already know what it does. But especially for the guns, you have no idea what you're buying. And the problem with that is, you don't know if you're buying something you already have, or if you're buying something that's total garbage. Right? You don't know until you bought it, and then that's it. It's non-refundable, so you just have this thing. Again, there's so many of these different packs. They're all the same thing. Again, this is going to save you 54 million credits! Woohoo! Wow, it's going to save you, like, 27 days! And this is what you get. You get this steampunk-looking thing, and this. You can buy so much, like, actual good stuff for $13 here. Sorry, $13, not 12 $13. Like, whoa, it's 50% off from $26, so woo! But no. Right? Just no. That's what this stuff here, like the Help Ukraine pack. Like, what is this? Like, really? Is Madfinger gonna, like, give money to Ukraine? Like, no, they're not. <laughs> Just, like, you know, here we go. Look, you're gonna buy the auto heals, which are useless. They basically just drip feed you health. I'm in a very slow rate. Painkillers, which are, like, you know, they're pretty good. Once you've upgraded them, they're actually, you know, pretty useful. But you have to keep crafting them, though. You have to keep crafting them or buy them. And then second chances is basically if you fail an objective and you die, you can just try again, pick up from your left off. And again, like, it saves you all this time and money. But does it really? Because it costs you all this money. Like, with this, it saves you, like, 2.15 billion dollars in, like, 15 days. And, like, you get all this crap here and nine dollars you don't know what you're buying right so i made the mistake and i actually bought this weapon so i can see like what what is this is it actually worth two billion dollars like you're actually getting anything here as you can clearly see the answer is no it's exactly the same as the coach you see like they're exactly the same the damage is the same the only thing that's different is that this one has um two barrels and the other one has four barrels so that means that this one um, the quad damage, you don't have to reload it as much. That's basically it, right? So I spent nine dollars to get something I already had. That's only marginally better, right? And again, the coach is also a premium weapon. So are these. So is this. So is basically everything here. <laughs> um, they're all premium. Basically, like, oh, if you actually want to, like, be good in the games, we'll see later. With, like, the tournaments and the, um, like, the arena and stuff. You, you require these weapons. Some of these events you actually require, you have to have these weapons to, in order to progress. Otherwise, like, you just can't do them. Like, here's the other thing. So you have to upgrade all your, all your guys. So you notice before the quad damage I just bought was level 10. Because that's because that's what the level of my little weapons engineer here was. You know, I spent 2 million credits to upgrade this guy. It's going to take about a week for that to happen. And then, oh no, if I want to I can spend a thousand gold to, like, speed this up. I don't want to speed this up. A thousand gold. That's, like, that's a lot of money, you know? You're spending a lot of money here. And then over time, like, if you don't upgrade your weapons, the, the enemies will get stronger, the virus has mutated, the zombies that you saw earlier, they get stronger. Although, if you have these overpowered premium weapons like I have, um, it's really not, you know, it doesn't mean anything, they're basically the same. Um, but if you don't have premium weapons, if you're just trying to get along for free, like, they force you to basically upgrade your stuff and to spend gems to get it faster and to get it now, and it's just, it's, I don't know, I'm not a fan. And then I have the slot machine. Um, so the slot machine is like a, you have all these cosmetics you can get to put around your, your base and stuff. And the slot machine is one of these that it's basically like just there to steal all your gold. 
Um, you can basically ignore it because it doesn't really have any effect on the gameplay. You, you get gold and you spend the gold here. So you watch ad, you spend the gold, and you get a. You know, on this clip, I got kind of lucky here. I um, mean, before I got the eight gold, before you were gonna get nothing, right? Most of the time, you're gonna get jack all. You see, there, I'm spending my gold. Look at this, I got something! I got 44 gold! Woohoo! That's the biggest payout I've ever gotten from this thing! Um, I got kinda lucky there. And then I got nothing again! So that's, you're mostly just gonna get your money. It's like a real casino, right? It's rigged. Here is the arena, which is basically the same as the tournaments. The tournaments are like, oh, you spend, you know, a thousand monies, which for the most part is basically nothing. Um, so that's good. But, as you can see here, all these high-level players are getting these absolutely ridiculous scores. Like a 3 million, 3.4 million points for most of these guys here. And as you'll see, it's just impossible to get that. So again, some of these tournaments, as I said before, require you to have these special weapons. So here's the arena. One of the arenas, anyway. You see there's all these traps you can set that will, um, you know, eject the zombies. And that's one of the ways you can kind of, like, do it except as you see it takes time to reset the traps so there's that then you're supposed to you know beat your friends Woohoo! here's the lucky box you know they give you bonuses sometimes some of them are useful some of them are useless but quickly you see you as you progress through the ranks the zombies get far more difficult to the point where even if you have these, you know, hyper powerful extreme, and then you just die like that, right? You just die immediately. But basically, over time, as you as you go through the, all the different waves, they get like exponentially more difficult to the point where you can up unload like your entire magazine, all of your bullets, and you won't even kill like the weakest zombie. So no matter what, you're just gonna die quickly. So that means they're trying to get you to buy the the damage boosters in order to do better in something that's utterly meaningless. And same thing goes for the tournaments, right? So that, that, that's all that they're there for, is to get you to spend your gold to buy gold, to buy boosters, to buy stuff. And then they're all just full of cheaters anyway, so it's impossible. <laughs> so it's impossible to beat. So this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. Because in Dead Trigger 2, right, I already showed all the horizontal ads you saw, you know, all the ones in the correct orientation, were all from... Where you would you would you would you would you would watch the ad to earn coins, right? You would, you would you would earn the coins, and then you would have the coins. Well, then this is the other option. So here's all oh, the special offers where you would, you know, complete these these tasks with these advertisers. And these are like if you thought the ads were kind of scummy, they're just ads, right? They're just ads for games. You can ignore them. It's like look, it's like you're gonna earn all this gold. Oh wow! It's like you have. You know, just make a purchase to win all the gold. So spend money to earn nothing. Make a purchase, take a quiz. And I, I tried a couple of these and they just don't work. So they're just literal scams here. If you, if you just want gold. So here you go. All you gotta do for this fucking crypto scam here. Sign up for an account, fill a contract accurately. Like they want accurate information and start trading. You know, it's like, how is... How is it gonna report back into the game? Like, how is Tapajoy gonna know? If you're not, start a crypto exchange account and trade instantly. Like, no, I don't want to start your scam with your your scam. It's a scam. You just buy all this stuff, right? Buy all this stuff. Spend all this money with us. You know, spend money to earn money. Woohoo! It's like, no. Like, here we go. Like, look. You're gonna, whatever, these stupid bras or whatever. You're gonna... You have to spend a hundred dollars in order to get five thousand gold. It doesn't. It's cheaper. It's like if you spend less than that in the game, you're gonna get more than that amount. So, like, what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? You have to make a purchase of over a hundred dollars to earn this reward. Well, number one, when I tried to do these, like, the cheap ones before, we were in, like, 20 gold, just fill out a survey, it didn't work, even if I tried to do it accurately. So, if those didn't work, and then you go and you spend $100 on this, it's not, you're, you're not gonna get the gold, you're not gonna get the reward, you're not gonna get anything. 
you're just gonna get scammed. It's like, look, they go like, oh, help the children, think of the children. It's like, you have to have a monthly donation. A monthly donation is required. One time donation is not. So, like, they want, they don't give a fuck about the children, they don't care about these stupid kids. They don't care about the refugees, they don't care about Ukraine, they don't care about any of it. The only thing they want you to do is to make up this constant donations of money to them. And it's not going to go anywhere. Well, you know that. You're, th that money is going to go into some scammer's bank account somewhere. And it's all worthless. But look, here we go. You want to earn 9,000 gold? Here, spend $200. Like no, you can you can get thirteen thousand five hundred gold in game for way cheaper than that. And, it, and plus the service you're gonna get, like who knows what you're gonna get, right? So don't do this. You're just gonna get scammed, bro. Like what are you doing? This is garbage. So yeah, there's that. I just wanted to talk about these things for a while. You know. You, you just see these ads all the time that's like, Oh, you know, you can win real cash, or here's this mobile game that looks really boring, in my opinion. And... They're just, they're just so scummy, so stupid. So hopefully, this rambling mess, I don't know, did something for you. Maybe it told you something you already know, maybe it taught you something new. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you just, I don't know, no one's gonna have watched this far, I guarantee it. No one's gonna have watched this video at all, honestly. I'm not even sure why I'm making it. So, uh, yeah. See ya.